In this lesson, we'll determine the derivative functions of exponential and log functions with base e and without base e that do not require the chain rule. We're asked to find the derivative function of each given function. The first function is f of x equals two times e to the x. Looking at the derivative formulas, the derivative of e to the x with respect to x is equal to e to the x, indicating f prime of x is equal to the derivative of two e to the x, which is two times the derivative of e to the x, giving us two times e to the x. Next we have g of x equals two times five to the power of x. Notice here the base is not e, the base is five, and therefore we use the derivative formula. The derivative of a to the power of x with respect to x equals natural log a times a to the x. Notice for g of x, the base a is equal to five. And therefore, g prime of x is equal to the derivative of two times five to the power of x, which is equal to two times the derivative of five to the x, which in our case is natural log five times five to the power of x. g prime of x equals two times natural log five times five to the power of x. Next, we have two log functions. h of x equals negative five natural log x. Remember natural log is log base e. The derivative of natural log x with respect to x is equal to one divided by x, indicating h prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative five natural log x, which equals negative five times the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x. Simplifying, we have h prime of x equals negative five divided by x. And finally, we have p of x equals negative five times log base seven of x. Again here, notice we don't have log base e, we have log base seven. And therefore we use the derivative formula. The derivative of log base a of x with respect to x is equal to one divided by the product of natural log a and x. Because we have log base seven, we know a is equal to seven, which indicates p prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative five log base seven of x, which equals negative five times the derivative of log base seven of x, which would be one divided by the product of natural log seven and x. Simplifying, we have p prime of x equals negative five divided by the product of natural log seven and x. I hope you found this helpful.